Hey mates, I'm Alex. And I'm Gaston. Welcome to Power Mates. This is the place to learn and share about Fabric and Power Platform. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this channel with your friends and colleagues. So, hey everyone, welcome again to our channel. Today, uh, we are diving into an exciting new feature in the Power App side of things that allows you to call Azure SQL store procedures directly from your app. So, Gasson, what do you think about that? Yeah, that is right. And this is where uh, PowerMate is coming with this kind of mix between the data world and the local uh, platform world. So this is a new capability that opens up a really world of possibilities for Power Apps developers, enable them to leverage the power of Azure SQL Store Procedures to streamline the data operations and enhance the app performance. So quick insight from my end, let's head over a little bit for my machine here and check some of the details. Here I am with a connection to an Azure SQL database. Let me pull this in so you can check. I got my connection to an Azure SQL database, uh, in this case with AdventureWorks database uh, 2019. You can check all my tables here. And what we are going to be doing here is we have a store procedure here that is simple one, just a select statement with only one parameter where we can pass a category of product and based on that category is going to give us as a result a whole list on product names and list price. That's that's awesome and so okay let's let's take a look on how easy it is to use this new feature. So with just a, a, a simple example on, on how to create the connection, call the store procedure, and see how the data is coming back just for uh, demo purpose. So let's head over to my machine now. So as you can see here, uh, again, the same thing. This is the Power App homepage, as usual. We have the copilot here to create an application, or then we can create a uh, Powered App application, Canvas App, or, or Model Driven App. We are going to use Canvas App today because the feature is in Canvas App right now. So we can see how it works. So let's create a, a blank app just to see how easy it is. So let's so Power Mate, store procedure. Okay, create. So as Gaston, as Gaston mentioned uh, before, this is a feature that is still on preview. So what that means is you need to activate that feature to be able to use or on, on your Power App application. So uh, as we mentioned in previous videos, you need to come here into settings, then here in incoming features, and in the incoming features, you can search for store procedures. So as you can see here, you have the feature SQL Server Store Procedure that is decided by you right now. So let's activate the feature. Let's close here. Let's save the application. And wait a couple of seconds till the application ends to save. So let's add to the application a button that is going to be the trigger for our store procedure and a gallery, vertical gallery, just to see the results, okay? So let's add here a button that uh, we can name the call store procedure. And then let's add a vertical gallery here. As you may know, the galleries need a data source to be uh, added to the gallery to in order to show the information. So, but that information is going to be uh, bring it from the store procedure. So let's call the store procedure, create a collection, and then link the result into the gallery. So here, 
what happened? When you click the button, you need, of course, we are going to call our store procedure. So we need first to create the connections to the Azure SQL. So let's click here into the data. Let's click on add data. Let's find SQL, click on SQL Server. I have already created the connection, but let's click on add connection just to take a look what you need. If you are going to use a service principal, of course you need the tenant, client ID, or secret. The other option that is common too is to use directly SQL Server authentication that you need the server name, database, username, and password, okay? So in this case, I am going to select the connection that I created that was a basic one with username and password. That is the Adventure World connection here. And then, as you can see here, this is the new feature. You have the tables, but also you have the store procedures here to select. So let's click on the store procedure and let's select the top, top product. What do you think, Gaston? Store, top products, okay? Yep. Okay, let's select top product. Let's click on connect. You're going to see here that the connection is already created. So now we need to call the store procedure from uh, the trigger of the button using the power effects here on the formula. And that is super easy. What is the name of our connection? Adventure Works. So Adventure Works, then we select the store procedure uh, that we choose that was DBO. DBO top product, then that. And as you can see here, if you have defined it in your store procedure, uh, an input parameter, that is going to tell you what are those parameters you need to add. So here is the product subcategory ID. You need to format as a JSON. So the product subcategory ID, it's a number. So let's select one, for example, then close the JSON, well formatted JSON and then close here. So that is going to trigger our store procedure, but there's going to do anything because we are just, we are just uh, triggered the store procedure, okay? So what we want to do is to store the result into a collection in order to can show the result in our uh, power app. So let's add here a quick, Clear collect, this is a way to create uh, new collections on the Power Apps. Uh, I don't know, result. Then we have the store procedure and the store procedure is going to, to return a result set and then a table, okay? That is important. You are going to need to navigate into the properties of the result. In that case, the SQL store procedure usually returns a result set and the table. So we close here. We save. Then we can select the collection and say, now your data source is going to be the result. We have no result now, but if we play the app and click on call SP, the information is bringing back to the Power App application. And same thing, just last uh, comment. Of course, we can have that like the, the, this number dynamically for a combo box or something. I am just putting here, if we change that to two, and then play again the power up and click on call store procedure, you are going to see that it's a different data. So you can start playing with dynamic information. Yeah, this is great, uh, um, Alex. You know, it's uh, in my mind and coming from the data space, you know, this is kind of that kind of feature that is gonna simplify the whole data integration. But also at that time, I feel that based on what you showed and shared with us, it's also improved the performance of how Power Apps is offloading those kind of complex data operations to Azure SQL. So 
uh, whether you're building kind of a simple app or complex business solutions and you're incorporating some actual SQL store procedures into your power apps, this is kind of great and kind of a game changer. Yeah, and, and remember that uh, previously uh, to call uh, an store procedure on SQL, you need to create a Power Automate flow uh, acting as the middleware. So the Power App application called the Power Automate and the Power Automate call the SQL and go back with the information. So now you are calling directly your, your, your store procedure. So yeah, you are going to improve your performance for sure. So that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more apps, tips and tricks. Yep, stay tuned for more in-depth insights, tutorials and exciting news here in our channel. As usual, hit that notification bell and join us on this journey. Together, let's unlock the full potential on Power Platform and Microsoft Fabric. Yeah.